One of the industries hit hardest by the pandemic was radio. It relies on commuters to keep ratings and ad dollars flowing. And today we're highlighting one local broadcaster who reinvented their brand to survive. ABC 10's Marcus Allen joins us to explain. I'm drawing tears of laughter, Carly, and you may have noticed camera guy Jeremy was chuckling because just seconds as you were tossing to this uh, interview, Keith Boondock Brooks was saying that he gets compared to a celebrity, maybe two every day. What do they say? And they say that I look like if Mark McGrath had a baby with vanilla ice, then that's that would be me. So. And it's, and it's funny, sadly, because it's a little true, Keith. <laughs> it is what it is. It could be worse. It could be worse, you know. Right. It could be better. I could look like Marcus Allen, you know. Oh, right? For the love of God, you deserve so much better. So I've known Keith from radio for years. Uh, Hip-hop DJ, uh, sports radio guy. Transitioned to a, 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 a pandemic-era podcast that has blown up. The reason we're here, it's news. Crossing a million subscribers between the products. So as we wrap it up, Keith, rattle off all the different ways they can hear you. Yeah, so Spotify. Apple Podcasts, you can go. It's Boondock Underground. Just check it out. You have all of our shows there. We have our sports show, our political show there. And you can go to the podcast, uh, EDH, the podcast lounge, EDH.com. Everything's right there. You can watch the shows. We have some videos up there and everything else. So, And on my Instagram, it's Boondock the Entertainer. So make sure you check that out as well. Got good stuff on there. There you go. Congrats. All right, buddy. All the props. Thank you. And to you. Back to you. All right, Mark. I was thinking more Limp Biscuit, maybe Mark McGrath, but... Uh... I guess they all work. They said a little limp biscuit, maybe. <laughs> a little bit. I got, <laughs> got, I've got kicked out of some uh, some wineries because I look like Fred Durst, you know. So yeah, happens. I see it. I see it. All right, thank you so much, Mark.